Hi guys. We're gonna do a Dollar Tree haul. I went there this morning and I had to pick up some things. Um, I'm looking for books that I will really read because I have that nice big bookshelf to fill up. So without further ado, they had some really nice things in there. Nice, really nice books. So this first one is called Raw Cake. And do you like my backdrop, my winter tree? So I have pine cones and white lights. Um, I didn't want to get rid of it just yet. I'm not ready. So this one is called Raw Cake. And this was, I was really impressed with the pictures in here. And I'm on the keto diet, so they have like really healthy choices, keto recipes. Um, and mostly not, but yeah, that was a nice book. Um, it was the only one left. How much was this? So it was $24.99 if you had to buy it at Barnes & Noble. So I'm excited about that one. I love sitting on the couch at night with my blankie and my tea and looking at recipe books. This one is called The Everyday Squash Cookbook. And oh my gosh, so this is, it's perfect. Look my diet, here's some pictures. Look at that. That is called Muscle Chowder with Summer Squash. Hmm, we'll have to try that one. Pork squash and white bean chili. Can you see it, pictures? So that's a really nice look. Let's see, how much was this one regularly? This one was $24.99. So that's a nice book. I feel sorry for the people who write these books and then they end up in the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. Hmm. This is called Broth and Stock. So actually I would have bought this at full price because I am on that keto diet and it shows all kinds of different stocks you can make and healthy foods from the Nourish Kitchen. Jennifer McGruther. Sorry Jennifer, I bought your book for a buck. Let's see, this was $18. So some really nice pictures, so she did a good job. Good job, Jennifer. What else? And... So here's another book. And this was on the bestseller, it said. And I always read the inside pocket just to see if I'm interested in the book. And this one, I actually was interested. I won't go into all the details, but it looks like something that I would normally read. And this one called Cat Flap. And I think, if I understood it right, The lady, Dolores, turns into a cat or something. So she gets to go through that flap and be a cat, if I'm reading it right. But I think that's what it was. It sounded really funny. And this should only take a couple days to read, but I thought that was fun. And this one was regularly $24.99. Okay. And this one's called the Lido, and this one I believe is about, she's in London, the library where she used to work was closed, the family grocery store has become a trendy bar, um, now the Lido, an in outdoor pool where she swims daily since its opening is threatened by closure, da da da. 
So that sounds fun. That sounds like a fun little get a get away with your blanket and your tea. And I found this wise cocktails. So I have a bar in my basement. So and it's cocktails that are healthier. If there is such a thing. Botanical beer, punch. So yeah, this should be interesting. That's a good little bar book to put on the bar so people can read it and here's one. That looks good. And this one was doesn't say, let's see. And this was the only one left. I don't know how there's only one book. I mean, do they close out? I don't know where they get their books, actually. I don't know. Okay, and then we'll move on. So I needed another red. I've read, I have a red tea pot. And so I thought the red towel, and it's really good quality. It's thick. So that's for the kitchen. And then I found these little night lights for the bathroom at night. I'll put one in the bathroom upstairs, one down here. Yeah, I bought some more. I'm gonna give them to my daughter. So when the kids wake up, they can see where the bathroom is. Okay. And then I have another bag. And I found these kitchen towels. I thought these were so cute. And I think they're from the Christmas season, but hooked. look at how cute these are. And these are soft cotton. It said happiness is homemade. I got two of those. So those are really nice. That was a really good find. And then I found these adorable tea light candle holders. They look like, like wrought iron. Yeah, and then to go with that, these little tea lights. So they're battery operated. They come with batteries. It says they hold a charge for 240 hours. See right there? Yeah, so that was a fun little find. I'll put those on my the wood stove mantle. And then I found this candle. It's orchard and black currant made with essential oils. But I smelled this at the store and it's invigorating, amazing. There were more, but this is the only one I liked. I loved this one actually. So that was a Good little item. What else? Oh, more, more of these. And then I found, have you guys ever tried this? I have long hair, so those of you who have long hair. It's called a hair donut. So that'll be interesting. I like when I put a ponytail, I like up here. So I have height, because I have a round face. I need the length. So hopefully that'll work. And then I saw this at Target before I went to the dollar store and this was $3.99, the same size. So that's the Crest 3D white toothpaste and this has 15% more. So that was a really good deal. And then I have more books too. Let me see if I can find them. Oh, they're over there. I'll be right back. I'll go get them. So this is called A Lady's Guide to Selling Out. And this one looked really interesting too. So this one is about um, a woman 
was uh, an English major and lands a job at a top ad agency. And then she loses her job and she has a hard to please boss and her, assigns her a top secret campaign, blah, blah, blah. And when she falls in love with one of the authors, she can no longer ignore her own, own nagging doubts about the human cost of her success, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, actually, I would enjoy reading this one. And I like the pretty bright pink cover. And I, I used to watch him on The Doctors, I believe. Remember him? He's good looking. Um, eat clean, live lean. So this is a... I love these books that give you like tips on healthy eating and living. They're fun to read. You always take something away from it. And then this was a cool book. Secret Keepers. So this was a, this, I read this. This is about a man who found an old watch and then something about the watch was magical. When Reuben discovers an extraordinary antique watch, he soon learns it has a secret power and his life takes an intriguing turn. So that's, that kind of reminds me of like Jumanji or something, but that's exciting. This was $24.99. And then this one is called Rainbow Rowell Landline. That's who the author is, I'm assuming. So this one, it's about a woman who knows that her marriage is in trouble, that it's been in trouble for a long time, and she still loves her husband, and her husband still loves her, but they're not on the same page. And then she finds a way to go back in time to communicate with her husband. So I thought that was interesting. That'll be fun to read too. And that's a bestseller. I mean, really, for a dollar? $24.99. And then this one called The Locals. This one is about Mark is a contractor and home restorer in Holland, Massachusetts, who feels the opportunity of passing his family by. After being swindled by a financial advisor, what future can Mark promise his wife, Karen, and their young daughter, Haley? He finds himself envying the wealthy weekenders in his community whose house sits empty all winter. So, he's, and then he invests, and it's, it says, here are the dramas of 21st century America rising, inequality, working class decline, and new authoritarianism played out in the classic setting of some of our greatest novels. The small town, the locals, is that rare work, work of fiction capable of capturing a fraught American moment in real time. So that sounds really good to me. Okay, the last one. The Misfortune of Marianne Palm. So this one, it says, a wildly entertaining debut about a Brooklyn Heights wife and mother who has embezzled a small fortune from her children's private school and makes a run for it. <laughs> Leaving behind her trust fund poet husband, his maybe secret lover, her two daughters, and a school board that will do anything to find her. Oh my gosh. So. That reminds me of that woman who was imprisoned for doing the, I think she's out now. I forgot her name. You know, um, she said her daughters were rowers or something and she lied and she paid someone $550,000 to get her daughters in the college. Kind of keeping up with the Joneses kind of thing. Who would do that? That's weird. Hmm. That's not teaching your kids anything. That's horrible parenting. Okay, guys, I hope you liked my haul. I think um, I think the best thing, I think you guys should run out and get, the thing that you'll really use is the night lights. And if you have long hair, this. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.